former road superintendent at a rental cost of $600 per month. These types of projects cannot be pursued at the current time because the existing road department employees lack the experience, excuse me, expertise, and the township does not possess the road equipment needed. The township supervisors will continue with the road paving projects designated at the beginning of the year and have bid these projects that will cost approximately $500,000 to complete. The supervisors are concerned about the loss of township revenues that have been caused by the COVID-19 epidemic. Specifically, there may be significant reductions in the LSA funding from casinos paid to the townships in Washington County, state impact fees from oil and gas drilling operations, liquid fuel allocations, and possible reduction in the real estate taxes and earned income paid into the township each year. Hundreds of township residents have lost their jobs as a result of COVID-19 epidemic and are living off unemployment compensation. The township is also under a consent order and mandate from the DEP, Department of Environmental Protection, to complete three separate sewer projects within the township. These projects include the Finleyville Alrema project, approximate cost $305,000. The Overlook project, approximate cost $850,000. And the Mingo Circle project, approximate cost $2.7 million. The Mingo Circle project is being governed by a consent order that requires the installation of a sewer package plant, sewer lines and grinder pumps to approximately 108 properties. If the township does not proceed with this project, it has been threatened with a fine by the DEP that is currently in excess of $200,000 for its failure to diligently pursue construction and the completion of these projects over the past several years. And I'm gonna caveat several years, we're talking decades. These mandates from the DEP resulted from the prior board's failure to address sewer issues in Union Township dating back to the 1990s. Pause. This problem has been inherited by this present board. The township has applied for grants, PENVEST loans, and LSA funding in order to minimize the impact and the cost to the township residents sitting among us, listening to us, and scattered on the hills and plains of the valleys and hills of Union Township. And I would also like to caveat that the township residents should look at the article placed in the messenger this last month that details how many grants, over a million dollar in grants, that this township board has acquired in the past three and a half years for the residents to alleviate all of these problems. Again, unprecedented in, in, in decades. A lot of funding from Harrisburg and Governor Wolf has been indicated that the Commonwealth has a $5 billion deficit as a result of the COVID-19 epidemic that it must eliminate. It is our opinion that many of the grant programs and loans will be adversely impacted if not eliminated in the coming weeks, months, years. The township's planning for these projects involved receiving nearly $2 million in grants to help fund the project costs. Should these grants not materialize, the township must determine how to cover these amounts. The township's options include increasing sewer rates throughout the township, possibly $20 a month to increase in sewer bills, and or increasing real estate taxes, neither of which the board wants to do. The major developments, projects planned by this board for the Mineral Beach property and the Dossie property have been placed on hold by the developers. The most recent payment received from this board's diligent work, 
from Sunoco Pipeline was to cover damages done to Patterson Road. And this was not a gift or a donation. These monies were made or tender to make road repairs and not to be used for township payroll. All of the healthcare professionals and news media, media are forecasting a second wave of the COVID-19 virus. Allegheny County has rolled back its phase opening of businesses and community activities. Washington County has reported a significant increase in COVID-19 cases. When the township employees were laid off, there were less than 100 cases reported in Washington County. As of July 7, 2020, the health department is reporting close to 400 cases with 168 new cases in Washington County over the past two weeks. It is my understanding that the state has just issued additional restrictions for Washington County and there is a distinct possibility that if the epidemic is not brought under control, there will be a second stay at home order issued by Governor Wolf. This would be catastrophic for our state and local governments. In short, the major road projects within the township will continue. The Township Board of Supervisors have taken dramatic and prudent steps to be fiscally responsible during this period of time and at the same time address the sewer outstanding, neglected sewer projects which must be completed by mandate and to perform the essential functions and services of township government and address the health, safety, and welfare of the township residents. The decision to lay off township employees was not taken lightly by the Board of Supervisors. The layoff started out for a concern for the health and safety of its employees because of the spread of COVID. And additionally, we heard their concerns as well and we reacted. The layoffs and job cutting measures continue because of the rise in COVID-19 cases in the county. The statements coming out of the governor's office and the uncertain economic issues and project costs facing the township. That completes the board's statement and I want to add that I hope that residents stay online. I hope additional residents, when some choose to leave tonight, come in because the board in in a um, proactive stance has delved into the township finances. We not only have on a um, slide screen presentation for all who's interested to hear what our current state of township finances are, what we've been spending the taxpayers' money on and how we've been handling your finances, but we also went back 20 years we went back to the early 2000s when this township almost went broke to the point where the state took this township over. A lot of our newer residents are unaware of those happenings. And this board has spent a lot of time digging through old budgets, old audits, paperwork that we can find, and we have a lot of information to share with you about your finances and how they've been handled. Um, I hope you stick around. We have, a, we have a slideshow that goes back to 2006. We have information prior to that. We're going to hold back on that for right now, but we, we really hope you can stick around. Heather, I think it's important for you to mention, too, the unprecedented steps that the township has taken to retain the CPA, literally on a monthly basis. Yes, that's a good point. Um, a lot of the newer residents are unaware that when this new board took over, we found we had a forensic audit done and we found that the township had over 26 bank accounts, which was unheard of. By We had several audit teams in here that expressed, um, what is the word, concern, grave concern over 26 bank accounts, two offshore bank accounts. We have all that paperwork. We want to share, we're willing to share. Bring as many people as you can to this township. Bring any state and federal agency, because you know what? We need help. And you know, I'm kind of glad that a lot of people are concerned because it's, it's as tired as we are, it woke us up. And we're ready to bring all state agencies in here and look Good. And, and figure out what is going on, what has been going on. So um, with that said, we are the first board that has <clears throat> subcontracted a CPA firm, one of the most reputable in Washington County, to work as an umbrella 
in this township. It's been difficult for employees here. Uh, I, you know, th this township is not an easy township to manage. We had boxes to the ceiling. We had mirrored QuickBook accounts. We had several audit teams in here for the first, from 2017 through today, trying to unravel a knot as big as this room to figure out what in the heck is going on. And I, I did say mirrored QuickBook accounts. So um, with that said, again, we have the finest CPA department umbrellaing and, and, and caring for this township and their finances. We have never been more proud of our finances and how fund balances are being held. We had, prior to this board, no escrow accounts being managed, meaning there was business being done in the township and no escrows were being held. General, monies were being taken out of the taxpayer general fund to fund private entities coming into the township to do business. And again, it's all documented. We have all the papers. We're glad people are interested and they want to hear more. So um, any, anything else from other supervisors on a general statement of the? I think you put it very well. And then Chairman, Jerry, you were requested to please speak into the microphone. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> okay, so anything else as far as the solicitor? Credit? No, nothing. Okay. Thank you, and we will move on to the engineer report. Absolutely. Just, just, does anybody want to trade out just to bring people in? I have a lot of yeah. We'll see about all this. I just want to get enough people. I can get it if you can. No, you gotta push it. No, you gotta push it back towards the wall. Now that one's locked. There you go. Thank you for coming, guys. Mm -hmm. You wanna come in? Anybody yeah. else wanna come in? They went down there. Well, I was going to comment that all the money that is being spent on lawsuits and employee turnover is, there's no point of even I can't, saying anything to I them. can't, I, that's about all I can handle them. Yeah, it's such it's lies. Ad nauseum. And well, you know what? Good. I'm so glad because you know what? There's so much question. They're so untransparent and they, you know, they can sit and put a good act on because we see this all the time. What? Huh? Offshore bank accounts? Why aren't we all under arrest then? I was on the board. Well, I was going to say, you know what, about all the lawsuits and how much did it cost for this. And but I just, there's no. I just want to vomit. Yeah. So. Nobody was able to get on Zoom until after 